Uh, okay. Lived in New York till I was eight, and then my parents took in Queens. No, no, the, I was born in Queens, but lived mostly in Westchester in Mount Vernon. Okay. Uh, uh, then my parents uh, wanted to raise their kids Latter Day Saints, so they came to to Utah. My dad became an accounting professor. So what high school uh, area East, would you live in? East High. East, there East, in your can't book. Can't you tell? Can't you tell? How uh, could I tell you were from East High? No, by my, by my bearing. Uh, uh, <laughs> that's a joke. <laughs> uh, East, East High comes into play in this book. There's a really cool, I didn't know this about East. I mean, in, in, in Utah Mormonism, East High is famous because high school musical was filmed there. Yeah, yeah but that, that was after my time. But that whole story was. about uh, a, a, a club for, uh, a, a, an affirming club for gays in the school yeah. plays in later. But yeah. I, I wonder if you're proud of your your alma mater for, yeah, I'm for still, that. Yeah, I still am proud of East High. It's changed a lot, but it's it's still. Did Bill Bradshaw go to East High? Did Who? Do you know Bill Bradshaw, the biology yeah. professor from BYU? Yeah, and I don't know. Okay, okay. I wouldn't be surprised. There were Bradshaws who went. Okay. Um, so, uh, okay. So, okay. so you so you moved to, so what part of Utah were you in? Holiday, Mill Creek, what the avenues? What, uh, what part? Federal Heights. Federal Heights. Uh, uh, by the university. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, we we lived for three months in Lehigh with my mm-hmm. my grandparents while my the parents found found a house. Okay. Um, and I, I, I still have fond memories of Lehigh. Uh, but then I lived in Salt Lake, grew up in Salt Lake, uh, East High, University of Utah. Okay, so you would have been 13 years old. I mean, you, it's, I'm just trying to kind of put myself back yeah. in that mindset. So we're talking about like Eisenhower, the Eisenhower 50s. Yeah, Eisenhower was the president of my youth. Yeah. And, and um, I was in, I, I think I was in seventh grade when he was sixth grade, I guess, what he was elected. And that's a long time from sixth grade for eight years. Uh, uh, I was in college when he, uh, uh, when Kennedy was elected. Okay. So your, your elementary and high school years would have been straight out fifties Americana. 50s, so it's fifties Salt Lake. Yeah, so that that's that's really interesting. Um, this is when Utah would this this is where David O. McKay is prophet. This is where David O. McKay. Yeah, the, I, I remember uh, I remember going to see him uh, several times, and my my mom would take me, and I remember one night lying in bed and I heard them shouting in the streets. They were selling newspapers. Extra David O. McKay dies, and they. Uh, uh, the, when he died, they put out a, a, a special edition. It came out about 11, 10 or 11 at night, maybe, maybe 9, 10, 11. And they, 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 sent, they got their news force, and they, they went through neighborhoods shouting, and people came out of their houses and bought newspapers. That's how, that's how you did news in those days. Uh, uh, and I, I remember that. Um, so when I think of when I think of the fifties, I think of Eisenhower, Cold War. I think of uh, the emergence of the civil rights movement, uh, the beginnings of it. I I think of the McCarthy hearings, you know, the the Red Scare, and then I think of like David O. McKay and the rise of modern Mormonism and the church trying to kind of working really hard to become like IBM corporate type Mormons to shed the bearded polygamy past and to try and become model Mormons. So having given that kind of background, talk about the fifties and, and your Mormon life in. in Oh, I went to church a lot. Uh, uh, Those were the days when uh, now the church is cut back. So they don't, they don't take you so much, but then they believed Probably while you were in church, you weren't getting into trouble, and they kept you in church a lot. Uh, uh, in 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 junior high, we'd go. You went to priesthood meeting, then Sunday school, then you came back for church uh, uh, later. Okay, on on Tuesday. So you go to church twice. People don't re- remember that. I remember it. I'm old enough. You went to church twice on Sunday. Twice. Right? You went in the morning for two <laughs> hours, and in the and in the 
evening for what was supposed to be, I think, an hour and 15 minutes, but it went on and on and on. So four hours of church, basically. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, on yeah, yeah, close, close yeah. to three and a half to four hours of church on Sunday. Too much, I thought. <laughs> and uh, uh, the uh, uh, and then you went on Tuesday to to when you were a kid, you went to primary. When you were a teen, you went to Mutual Improvement Association. You started started as a Boy Scout. You were an explorer. You were a, a junior M man. You were an M man. Uh, then you had basketball practice in the in the ward gym, two nights a week. Uh, um, then you had road shows, and you rehearsed what are those? the road. Uh, uh, okay, the the uh, every year, uh, each ward would put on a skit, a musical skit, uh, uh, like. Uh, Saturday's Warrior for for five or ten minutes, and it was, um, and then they traveled around. That's why they were called road shows. They tra- each ward traveled around and put on the skit for the other ward, uh, for all the other wards of the stake, and then the judges picked the best one. Did you did you lo- love the road shows? Well, I was in them. They were okay. Yeah. Did you sing, I, or was it just I, dramatic? I, I did some singing. Do you remember any of the acting. songs? No, I don't remember songs <laughs> from the road. I, I ought to. I ought to think about. I, I don't. I assume I sang in the in the road show. In any case, I was in the road show, but we didn't win, and I was only in once or twice. Uh, uh, the director was Bob Bennett who was the son of Senator Bennett and who later became a, uh, a senator himself. We've he, had his son, uh, Jim, Jim Bennett, yeah, on Mormon yeah, Stories podcast. Yeah, okay. Uh, uh, is Jim faithful? Yeah, he yeah, is. Yeah, I would think he was. Yeah, yeah. he is. Uh, yeah. Bob, uh, Bob Bennett was also my Sunday school teacher. Uh, uh, they asked him about it. They saw him once at a thing, and they said, oh, you, were you Rod Decker's Sunday school teacher? He said, didn't do much good. Uh, uh, the, so, okay, so I was, and I, was, I went to church a lot um, and was a, a, a regular Latter-day Saint. So uh, I, really quickly, I think of, you know, I, I am old enough to have been involved in road shows uh-huh. and scouting and, and church basketball and all those things. I came on the tail end of that. And I think of that as kind of like the golden age of Mormonism, kind of like the 50s through the 80s. Did you experience it that way? No. Uh, what? I, I mean, I, I, I liked it, and it was fine. But, but uh, uh, I, I said that before I came to Salt Lake, I, I was in Lehigh. Uh, the Latter-day Saint Church was different in Lehigh from the way it was in Salt Lake. Uh, um, it, it was more enthusiastic. Mm. Uh, by uh, enthusiastic, it's a technical term in religion where you you catch the spirit. I remember being at a fasted testimony meeting, and in 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 Salt Lake, they were pretty. They they were people stood up and talked, and everybody nodded and smiled. In 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 Lehigh, people sort of got the spirit, and they shouted. A person would yell, "Sing him '89," and everyone would burst into song. <laughs> and and uh, I remember one where there was a member, and somebody said something nice about him. He was an old man, and then person after person said, "Oh, what a wonderful fellow he was!" Uh, uh, and it was a it was a, 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 some, a somewhat different and and and, and more. Um, Enthusiastic's the word I use. I, I guess spiritual is what the spiritual in a in an evangelical way, perhaps, or in a Pentecostal way, uh, than than it was in Salt Lake. Uh, my grandfather Rodney C. Allred, after whom I'm named, uh, uh, was 20 years second counselor of the stake presidency. 20 years. 20 years in and one was, stake presidency. Was well known. Was well known for the loudness of his voice. So I, I, I could tell I'm a descendant. Uh, <laughs> uh, he, uh, um, so I, I think I, I, I only know the church from reading about it now, and it doesn't sound like it was as much fun as it was uh, when I went as a kid. 
but it may be just as much fun. I don't know for the for the people who go. Uh, scouting was fun. I, I liked being a Boy Scout. Um, and did you go scout only, camp? Did you go scout camp? Oh yeah, and 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 we did a lot of a lot of big hikes, and uh, and it was fun. To start, uh, you started at, you, at eleven in those days. In those days, you started in Boy Scouts, and we went. and It was fun when you were eleven. You went, and there were thirteen and fourteen year old guys, and you got to hang out with them afterwards and walk home and stuff like that. That was that that was fun. Um, uh, it was we we would sneak out from church and go to the Spud Nut Shop nearby and Are those have donuts a, have have yeah have a have a spud nut and a what's a was spud a nickel? nut it's a donut it, made it, of potato flour i don't it may be it was called spud nut but uh, but i can't tell the difference between uh, when i eat a donut it, you ate a day it was a big glazed donut uh, uh and, and and a mug of root beer for a dime a nickel each <laughs> yeah, uh, love it uh 